Welcome back. Paul Bertram just hit the flip bottom, but the referee is down. Paul Bertram might have had the count there. Paul Bertram would have been the Invin World Champion. Oh, and Ryder just gets the shoulder up. Just in time, there's no doubt about it. Paul Bertram would have defeated the War Machine there. Whipped them into the exposed turnbuckle. Now oh, Rhino comes back with a reverse DDT. Whip Rhino into the reverse... The reverse turnbuckle. The exposed turnbuckle. No, oh, just like Rhino did there. Save it a flavor. And Bertrand joined that incredible flip bottom. Pinned Rhino, but the referee was still down because Bertrand threw Rhino at him. Right now, he may be setting up for the goal. Virtual. No, oh, Virtual. Sorry, come in. There's a counter. This is a hell of a matchup right here. Paul Virtual might be a serious contender. <coughs> Sorry. Catching a cold out here. Oh, and Rhino gets the knees up. Drilling him into the ribs of Birchall. Birchall now with the counter. Rhino. And Birchall. Pulls oh my god! It's a trick by Rhino. Just broke Birchall in half. Wait a minute, Birchall kicks up. Can't believe that. Birchall never saw it coming. It's got broken damn near in half. Maybe it was at such a close range that it didn't have the effect it normally has. Running normally gets a big run up and smashes you. Oh, virtual the right hand. And an insecurity. This is a hell of a matchup. You can argue Rhino has just faced Chris Masters and beat him earlier. Still, Virtual is taken to the limit. Oh, and there's hard shots. There's trading shots now. An impressive armbar takedown from Virtual. And the right hand. Virtual now is going to run up. Oh, and he misses the clothesline. I thought Rhino was going to hit the gore there. Instead, he wants to get a little bit more of Paul Birchall. Throws him into the exposed turnbuckle on a ram. He's taking him up. My god, top rope. Superplex. Birchall is out. This is one hell of a match. Rhino may be setting up for it now. Yes, I believe he is. He's going for the goal. Virtual's getting up. He doesn't know where he is. Goal! Rhino just destroyed. Pull Virtual. One, two, three. Rhino defeats the second superstar. There's only one person left. And it's Kid Cash! Kid Cash pulled Paul Butchell's partner at the New Year's special. It's the third superstar Rhino must face. Kid Cash now hesitant to get in the ring. Wait a minute, Rhino dives through the ropes and hits him with a suicide dive. Get a German suplex and hard outside, but Rhino is exhausted. So they had two solid matches defeating Chris Masters and Paul Birchall. They must defeat Kid Cash as well. Oh, Kid Cash now fighting back. Kid Cash has a huge opportunity now. As I said, the champ is worn out. He's faced two tough competitors. Kid Cash being the third and last. Kid Cash has a huge chance of beating Rhino. And he hits a late drop, and then, oh, he goes for a moonsault to the outside. But Rhino counters. 
if Kid Cash does beat the War Machine, not only does he become the world champion, he also gets to defend it next week in the Extreme Elimination Chamber. Running right out, working on Kid Cash. Whips him into the ropes and a clothesline. Maybe setting up for the goal early. No, he changed his mind. Wait a minute, he might be setting up for the goal now. And he comes running. Whoa! Kid Cash reverses it. Kid Cash now just hammering away. He's trying to lift the war machine, but the war machine's holding on to those top ropes. And a right hand. Rhino now. Picking up Kid Cash. Whoa, what a top rope to the outside. Border toss like maneuver like crucifix power bomb smashing kid cash's vertebrae giving the champ a chance to catch his win back to get it some air kid cash now up and Rhino dives to the outside but misses with the clothesline kid cash now is fighting back in a drop kick Rhino's still standing kid cash tries to hit a clothesline no effect. Kid Cash. Still feeling the effects of that power bomb. A huge clothesline knocks him to the floor. He's still fighting him. Kid Cash wants to leave here, the champion. And the Hanukkah and straight in there with those right hands. Kid Cash now. Go for a missile drop kick from <laughs> Rhino. Knew it wasn't gonna connect. Just kinda stood there. Took a tiny step back. <laughs> Rhino now on the top rope. And Kid Cash is staring him down. <clears throat> oh, Rhino dives. Kid Cash manages to move out the way. Rhino hits nothing but his knee. Kid Cash now comes running. Rhino ducks out of the way. Right hand. Bounces Kid Cash off the ropes. Rhino bounces off the ropes. Oh! Nagore! Colliding from nowhere. This is it. One, two, three. And Rhino did it. Rhino defeated three superstars to retain his championship. And he goes in to the Extreme Elimination Chamber. Try and defend it again. Rhino sends an emphatic statement there. For not only Chris Masters, not only Paul Burchill, but Kid Cash, all in the same night in a row. It's a head of a gauntlet matchup. The Gore. Gore and the Gore saw the end of all three superstars. I'm out.